Good morning, plumbers, plumbing apprentices, plumber wannabes. As you know, we do everyday plumbing. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Good morning, Seabay. Good afternoon. Anthony. Okay. As you know, we train my sons, the, appre the apprentices, the trade. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. For today's plumbing adventure, I got a phone call about a leak in a basement. It turned out to be groundwater, but on the other side of the basement, we found a relief valve leaking from the heater. Anything, CB? Not at all, it sounds like. Are you excited about your solder lessons? Mm -hmm. You don't look excited, CB. I need a fist pump. Sure did. I need a fist pump. So, Pretend you're at the frat party. It's on 2000. No one fist pumps anymore. Who? No one fist pumps? I do. Let's go! You can see where the groundwater is coming in outside. There's no leak over here. But while I was searching for a leak, I'll show you next door. I heard something dripping, but you can see it goes right through here. The relief valve back there from the heater is leaking, and I'll get this shot. More groundwater. We had super high tides. Not enough for the pump to go on, but back here in this little cubby, I heard something dripping. This is why I don't pipe a relief valve through the floor. They never knew it was leaking. So we're going to change it and pipe it up top. It's probably been leaking forever. Okay, do we have valves on the system? We got one on the return. And none on the feed, so we got to drain the whole system. But the relief valve is, is passing, so we got to make sure. Let me have my glasses, please. We gotta make sure that the uh, expansion tank is good. Sometimes that will cause it to leak. If this is bad, I don't think it is though. It's brand new, you can test it with an air gauge. And the water fill. I don't know why that relief valve is even leaking, dude. You know? It sure is. And we're gonna use copper to. Uh, because you can't use pests, and if you do, you gotta use one inch. Oh, really? I learned that from the plumber inspector. Oh, really? This here is not even one. Oh, I see, babe. Let's hook up a hose. Uh, give me one inch. Off. You ready, CB? Yep. Let her rip. We'll see if we can do this on the fly. We're going to go faulty relief valve being changed. We gotta rinse that all down, okay? Old radiator water. Huh? Since we have no valves, we gotta drain the whole system. All radiators. So. What do we need, CB? Radiator sheet. That, yeah, we do need that. We needed a valve on the system, on the feed. Let's see, we got tight quarters here. This is why I don't pipe them through the floor. Who knows how long this has been leaking. A pair of pliers, Chucky. It's in a bad spot, man. 
Uh, I'm going. Oh. Is that relief valve a male or female? New bore valve, new relief valve going in. A Cambraco? I never even heard of it. 525,000 BTUs. Alright, uh, this is going to be really tough to get out. Really tight quarter CB. Am I going to be able to turn it? That's the question. on this one CB. Thank you, one more gooski. Maybe if I try to turn it down. That's what they should have did. Oh there it is CB. Alright. I like that. I like that CB. Come look what I'm doing CB. Come on. I got to loosen that jacket. All right, now the pipe wrench. Did you watch the game last night? A little bit. A little bit, why a little bit? Just a little bit more in there. You just blow them out. Hit the eagles. Oh, there it goes. There it is, see there. Now. Okay. I'll tell you what. That is definitely loose now. Yeah. Let's see, this is. It is empty. I just tested it. Screwdriver and take this jacket off. One, two, three, four screwdrivers. Try not to tighten this 90 back on. It's too loose. You don't lose the screws. Love is boiler work. I can get these two back here for you. It's easier. Okay. Hey, Siva. Yes, Let's see if I'll turn on my hand jacket. Hold on. Don't go crazy. Let me see what happens here. Yeah, it's back off. Alright. See me love plumbing? I'm having a good time. Hmm? I'm having a good time. Classic CG3 Well McLean. Might be a CGI. Oh. Grab the jacket in case it drops. You up both No. Well, I'm about to. Oh, there's actually a slot. I need to take them all the way off. Hold up. Oh, I see what you mean. See that. Huh? Go right there. Right there. Let's go redo it there. 
You leave it right there. You ain't gonna hold it. It'll stay. Pipe though. Teflon. The relief valve. There's a screw I told you not to drop. You say I'll put it in. Got it. Here's okay. All of it. All right. All right. I'm going to put on the side of the lift now. Yeah. Tape measure. Did you bring a little piece of copper or not? Ah, uh, no, that's why I opened the back door too. I forgot to bring it. That's all for the race. Spot well, McLean. Come on, man. Keep us plumbers in mind, dog. So, back to the story. Groundwater here. Down this by accident. So we're gonna do the right thing. It in. I'm gonna pipe it above the floor so we don't have no more no more undetected leaky leaky and that's gonna be it we can see via measurement while I'm here I'm gonna put the vent on this half inch too so we're gonna need a piece of three quarter with a male adapter uh, 14 20 of half inch. See me loves when I forget something. I didn't forget, I just added. I added this to it. I'm gonna go with the Vulcan grip. Don't bend. feedback on uh, there we go 
all the feedback on. I don't believe it. What? Zero, three, four. Really? No, I checked under the hatch too. I left a piece of the job then, man. Damn. Want me to grab it right now? Yeah, you're gonna have to with the truck. Yeah. At the shop. Uh, listen to me. Yeah. I need a piece of half inch with a half inch male adapter before you leave. So how big is this? 20 inches. Here. You got a tape measure out there? Yeah. Also needs a piece 16 inches of three quarter. Double check. I'm positive. There's scraps if you want to make a piece. Hold on. Can we get a 16 out of it? There's two more smaller scraps on the van. Let's make a coupling. I'm not going back to the shop. Okay. I'm going to grab those two small pieces in the package. Alright. I know. Can you couple it? Uh, I need a male adapter and uh, two couplings. Uh, green system. Huh? Listen to me. Can you flush that out there now? Yeah. Want me to do that? Yeah. Hold on. I'm going to give you some fresh water. Alright. Alright, so we're out of three quarter copper. I'm out of three quarter pro press nineties. Who's in charge of stock on the truck? So many plumbing lessons for you plumbing apprentices. Alright. We have no copper. So I'm gonna go with the 10 inch strip tube and the three-quarter male adapter on the pro press for the relief valve. It should be 14, but I'm not leaving the job to go pick up. Should be six inches on the floor, but we're gonna give them ten today. Alright. Still doing his job. As you know, it's the good, the bad, and the ugly. Alright, done. We're gonna do the right thing. Pipe down the uh, drip on the uh, back flow preventer. Maybe the last guy ran a copper too. Just like I just did. And a big lesson in plumbing apprentices, and I just fell victim to it by not paying attention, is do not drain a hot water heater onto clean concrete. short make sure you get the heater water to unstainable grounds plumbing apprentice lesson plumber mechanic lesson ultimately it falls on me we'll get her done let's get her clean CB CB you gonna bring your frat over here and clean it with a toothbrush they messed up we'll have to you'll get it I get plenty of water on it. All right, let me finish this up. When you're draining hot water heaters, uh, boilers, the water's disgusting. As you see, we got a big mess out there and we're gonna get it done, no big deal. Unnecessary work is what it comes down to. More. So, all right. We're out of half inch pro press mail adapters too, if you haven't noticed. 
So that's three things I needed on this little job that we didn't have. It's all about adapting and overcoming. So TV is getting that. I'll get a measurement and I'm going to go with 20. We're still at 20. Happy Friday! <laughs> flush outside. I just gotta fill up the radiators now. Six radiators. I'm gonna have to top them off. I didn't lose a lot of water so get the shot. Alright. That is complete. New relief valve for the boiler in tight quarters. But we got her done. Now we just got to fill up the system. We're going to turn it on and fire it up. Oh my God, look at this setup here. That's crazy. CB's progress report is doing great on the rusty water. Get her done, CB. Get her done. I know I told him before not to put it in a good spot. Lesson learned. We'll remember now. All right. You know we got, oh, we got a bleed and there's the water. Don't make a mess. Fired the heater up. I want to address the pipe with the owner. It's definitely the wrong pipe. It's a CGI gold. I'm almost positive it's supposed to have stainless steel special pipe for this exhaust system. So I will find out when I get back to the shop. I know for one thing, I don't think it gets B vent. And look at this fancy hangers. With a 90 facing down outside, which is a no bueno. Another job for the plumber. See, we got her done today. New relief valve. Done. What was the lesson of the day? The valve on the feed and return. Oh, I like that one. What lesson did we take a hard lesson on today? Oh, uh, don't stain the new concrete. Don't stain the new, even though it wasn't new, 
we don't want to make it like we left a mess so we cleaned it up and uh with that we got it done and go ahead cb give it to us no come on no no listen it's friday night it's frat night what are you gonna say tonight climb on climb on yo cb let's keep it clean cb stop the one of our get a drink right now uh no cb no drinking anyway and there goes another satisfied customer have a good weekend